All right, welcome back to Let's Play. Hold on, sorry, let me adjust the audio. Welcome back to Let's Play Master Quest. Last time, we cleared out the first dungeon. This time, it's time to go start preparing for surviving. Just wait. It's time to go start doing some survival preparation. For the long road ahead, you know. Right, anyway, storyline stuff. I ended up being seen off by Sario. Had an owl interrupt me like two steps out here. I'm gonna cut till I start speaking. But we got some stuff to do to start preparing for survivability. But first, some storyline bits. Um, yeah, um, that we gotta take care of. Just gonna be quick about those, first of all. Why am I not speaking? Because I gotta get to Hyrule Castle, find the storyline events, but I got. I'm on the timer for this. I probably already explained this in the original Ocarina of Time, but it's there. And then I promptly ignore all the sculptural things because I just don't need them. And I you know I might need some. I might do something just for fun and jokes and memes and whatnot. But yeah, I know they're different. Right. Storyline stuff. Here. So this is. The so there is some gameplay here, but mostly it's just going to be the same storyline stuff. So just expect some 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 possible failings. Uh, but first, I just want to wait till the sun sets, just to just so I can have an opportunity for something. Just waiting for this a wolf to howl, which I think I just might have missed. Maybe. Yeah, it just gets. Malin back in there, but because because I like doing challenges and whatnot, I'm gonna see if I can do this without the necessary items. Cause if I can get it one time, that'd be pretty cool. It's just one of those optional things. I don't know, doggo. Uh, I'm gonna guess down. Oh, hey, awesome. Uh, I'm feeling upwards. For this one. Nope, didn't win. I just wasn't expecting to win, but it's always worth a try. Just to see. Just for that one in 32. Um, right. Storyline progression. I just don't need to worry about the dog, first of all. But I do need to go and find that Princess of Destiny. And have an owl interrupt me. This is going to be fun to just edit stuff like that out. Mid-episode interruptions. Yes. Yes, I am. But also, it, there's a lot of relevant stuff to show off here. For um, pre some pre-randomizer stuff. Just because, yes. Master Quest is going to be part of Randomizer. And there is going to be some relevant stuff here to see how dungeons are ordered. But first, you know, just got some storyline. We already know what one of the dungeons is like, which may or may not appear in Randomizer. Thus, Randomizer. But, um, what else? Yeah. As I said, a lot of the storyline stuff is the same. Randomizer just would have bridged that. But it's also not guaranteed to see every dungeon from Mass Quest in Randomizer. In Randomizer. But it is good to have some, some sort of expectation. Thus, this. This playthrough of this sort of abridged Let's Play of Mass Quest. 
where I show off all the gameplay elements in a normal 80% playthrough and let's play, but I also cut out all the story. Or most of it. You know, except for like one or two lines of dialogue. Which really is front heavy with a lot of the story. And just really makes me feel for how fast progression starts to um, start taking, picking up in uh, randomizer. Oh, you know, part of that is just the possibility to get a really good item right away and just have a lot of just different options. So, but that's the fun of it. But here, we just don't have any of that. And instead, we have some characters just dialoguing on and on with stuff we've already seen before that I just don't feel is necessary to show again. Because, you know, as far as storyline goes, I've, I've probably... I've, I plan to say my bits in, um, in vanilla, in original Ocarina Time. But here, there's just none of that. Anyway, we got some guards to get past. And they're pretty blind. And yes, they, not pretty blind, they have quite the tunnel vision. Yes, this guard has seen someone from pretty far away. I don't know where the second one went. Because I don't see the second one. But now I do. Just behind the waterfall. I think there is some random randomness to how these gods, guards spawn. But this also just, you know, it's a gameplay element. I might as well try and show it off. But like a gameplay heavy thing. Like a story heavy game, game with that's very story loaded at the beginning. Beginning, all the good stuff starts picking up a lot. A bit starts to pick up after all this, all this introductory stuff. It's just getting through that first before all that good stuff shows up. Luckily, randomizer makes it just that much quicker. And also, Link's Link needs to quit rock. Link really loves this music right here. Looks like he's rocking out. Just funny. Just something funny I observed. I don't see where the second guard is. Okay, I just got a quick opening. Let's make it. Thank you. Just dodging the tunnel vision. And then I can pretty much cut. All right. All right, so we gotta, here, here's where a big storyline dump would be. So I'm gonna cut. And All right, I'm back. Oh, that was a little bit loud. So what happened with the storyline so far? So we met this Deku tree who gave us this task of just clearing out all the evil from him, inside of him. Then after clearing out most of that evil except for some gold sculptures, we were tasked to go find some princess. That princess pretty much just had a lot of story for us, including what our mission was. There's this evil evil uh, ambassador coming from the desert called Ganondorf, who Zelda thinks through some prophecy, is going to conquer Hyrule or something, which is just this whole big land ran. And also... Through that curse of the Daker Tree, we learn of something called the Triforce, which is just this holy relic that Hyrule uh, senses as being valuable that we ought to protect from Gandorf's evil clutches. Now, we don't know any of Gandorf's intent yet, but along the way, we met this melon, who we found out works at Lon Lon Ranch delivering some milk along the way fell asleep but also 
we also learned that it's not just Kokiri Forest that um, Gandorf did vile things in. We learned that there's also Death Mountain as our next destination to see what else Gandorf has been doing, as well as checking up on another group called the Zoras. Okay. Anyway, with that in mind, let's do a few side quests. First off, uh, Malin teaches us this song right here, which I do want to collect this early because it'll come quite into play a lot sooner in Master Quest. That's a lot of these deviations right here is what I really like about playing Master Quest compared to the regular. I certainly don't like the beginning as much or hunting for all the gold skulls as much, but I do like the mixing up of doing a few things. Particularly because I could have hold, I could hold off a lot longer to do both Lawn Lawn Ranch and yeah, just do Lawn Lawn Ranch in regular Ocarina Time. Because it just didn't affect the necessities of it didn't affect a whole lot of oh, oh, it didn't affect a whole lot. But here I need all the help I can get. If I was going near death in uh, the day tree, how much more so are the rest of the dungeons going to be dangerous? So therefore, best make as much preparations as I can. While still considering that I'm not going for 100%, but instead I'm just going to find a few small side help, helpful items. Including, right now, while I'm in the area, a bonus song. But there's more with that. That I'm not going to be going... That I'm going to be skipping... The 50 overworld sculpture is. Which just makes money routing a little bit tighter. Okay, come on. Which one was it? Uh, in the corner, wasn't it? I think you. Maybe. Yeah. Because they always drop in the same spot, I've noticed. And I did play a few. Oh, yeah. And here we're just getting a... St and here... It's more so expanding upon Malin and Link's relationship. But more so that they might have a thing for each other. But really, it doesn't go to a whole lot of expansion into that. And in fact, it's one of those things where you'd have to look into side material to read more about that. But they have a relationship established. Anyway, let's go uh, and do stuff how the story intended. Intended. Just because we got, we don't have that much more options for a story for story and level progression, and I don't need more health right now. Uh, what else am I thinking about? Oh, great. Right. Long Lone Ranch kind of messed some timing up. Yep. Oh, come on. I don't need to reassign. But mostly, the big thing right now is... While there is one more thing to do... It, in Kakariko... I can hold off for just a little, a little bit longer. Just because I can just go ahead and do these necessary story progression bets while I'm waiting for daytime to pass. Because as I said, I'm not going for a whole lot of items, but I am going for a couple safeties, including getting a few extra. I'm going for a few extra safeties. Okay, that guard just said some words. And I want to see if I can do this as a kid. Nope. I don't think I can. But, uh... Stuff about safeties. Right. Let's summarize what the guard said. Basically, 
he said that there's going to be some dungeons here and that we should probably get a proper shield, which is advice that is a lot more valuable in Master Quest to heed. And it's not something that is as easily avoided in Master Quest to quest the dangers of that active volcano. At least those dangers that apply to Kid Link. But, you know, there is some story segments that are are necessary to do again. Thus, the climbing of this mountain. And the repetition of a few things that are certainly carrying over. But as we start to get more and more into Mass Quest, those differences become, in how I'm, the order I'm doing things, become a lot more apparent. But for now, they aren't as apparent. You know, other than just getting a bottle and a song a little bit earlier than in my first playthrough. Oh yeah, you need to open up this area first of all. Let's see. Uh, you remember what I was doing with that? Yeah, I gotta remember the order of buttons because I often don't pay attention to them. This seems to be a little bit odd with the hit detection here, but we do need a way back into the forest, and we do need to get some get. Do need to progress some dialogue, like normal from Darunia. But until after that point, uh, but you know, oh wait, I missed one, don't I? But I don't need to worry about the spinning statue. I just need an active flame all the way up to the stairs, because there's no side quest to do or that I'm gonna do. So it's just something I make note. So therefore. I don't need to worry about the flames down there. But what I do need to worry about is just this, is just navigating this forest. Right, so I hate to cut this sh short, but uh, yeah, this episode started to get a bit long, so I'm going to split this into two parts. See you next time when I continue through the forest.